23rd Congress, Session 1, June the 28th, 1834. An act to enable the president to make an arrangement with the government of France in relation to certain French seamen killed or wounded at Toulon and their families. Whereas certain French seamen were unfortunately killed and others wounded by firing a salute from the American frigate United States in the harbor of Toulon on the first day of May 1st, and where it is proper to manifest the sensibility with which the disastrous accident is viewed by the government of the United States. Therefore, be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America and Congress assembled, that the President of the United States be, and he hereby is authorized and empowered to enter into an arrangement with the government of France for the payment of an annual sum of twice the amount receivable by the Navy pensioners of the same or a similar class to the wounded who survived, and to each relatives of those who were unhappily killed as aforesaid, as the President may deem it expedient to include in this provision, which said sum shall be paid on the earliest day practicable after the proposed arrangement shall be concluded, and on the same day in each year thereafter, during the respective lives of the persons to whom granted. Section 2 and be it further enacted that a sum of money sufficient to enable the present to carry out the aforesaid arrangement into effect be, and the same is hereby a Porsche appropriated to be paid out of any money in the treasury not otherwise appropriated. Approved June 28, 1834. Lives can't be reinstated, and while I am for everybody being armed, in this case, it sounds like someone should never be let near a cannon again. Further, Andrew Jackson was president when this happened. Can you imagine old Hickory's reaction when he found out this happened? Yikes!